Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Recap for Monday, August 5, uncovers that Steffi Forrester trusted Brooke Logan, wouldn't flounder with the Brooks room relaunch, and by, and by took punches over trust Logan's own faltering line. While John Finn Finnegan ventured out for a call, Trust fantasized about him giving her one more back rub and kissing her in the plan office. Katie Logan in the end sprung up and woke up Trust from her dream. However, she saw Trust looked flushed and inquired as to whether she was all right. After Brooke got one final motivational speech from Edge Forrester in Monaco, she addressed the press and discussed how age was only a number. Brooke demanded that we as a whole are striking and lovely before another video dropped universally to flaunt her revisitation of the line. Every one of the journalists present went to their telephones to watch the Brooks Room relaunch promotion. Back at Forrester Manifestations, everybody accumulated for the video drop, and Katie shouted that Brooke was going to break the web. In Monte Carlo once more, Brooke pulled back from the group with Edge as they kissed to commend her prosperity. Somewhere far off, a secret lady wore a dim scarf and shades as she kept an eye on the cheerful couple. Next on Monday's B&B episode, Pompey Nozawa demanded Luna Nozawa was Bill Spencer's little girl, not Tom Starr's. After Poppy helped Luna to remember the paternity test results, she shut down any thought that she killed Tom to safeguard their existence with Bill. Poppy said she didn't kill Tom and professed to have no clue about how his knapsack ended up in their old condo. Luna contended that it didn't simply mysteriously show up and raised Poppy's previous medication use. Since both Tom and Paul Hollis Hollister passed on from gluts, Luna referenced Katie's doubts. Poppy said Katie was off-base and pushed Luna to accept she didn't have anything to do with those passings. Concerning the knapsack re-emerging, Poppy felt that they couldn't tell any other individual about this and informed Luna that they needed to stay quiet. In light of our forecasts, Poppy and Luna are going to make considerably more complexities with their choice to keep silent. While John Finn Finnegan stepped out for a phone call, Hope fantasized about him giving her another massage and kissing her in the design office. Katie Logan eventually popped up and snapped Hope out of her fantasy, but she noticed Hope looked flushed and asked if she was okay. After Brooke got one last pep talk from Ridge Forrester in Monaco, she spoke to the press and talked about how age was just a number. Brooke insisted that we're all bold and beautiful before a new video dropped globally to show off her return to the line. All the reporters present turned to their phones to watch the Brooks bedroom relaunch promo. Back at Forrester Creations, everyone gathered for the video drop, and Katie exclaimed that Brooke was about to break the internet. In Monte Carlo again, Brooke stepped away from the crowd with Ridge as they kissed to celebrate her success. In the distance, a mystery woman wore a dark scarf and sunglasses as she spied on the happy couple. Next on Monday's b, &B episode, Poppy Nozawa insisted Luna Nozawa was Bill Spencer's daughter, not Tom Starr's. After Poppy reminded Luna of the paternity test results, she shut down any notion that she eliminated Tom to protect their life with Bill. Poppy said she didn't kill Tom and claimed to have no idea how his backpack wound up in their old apartment. Luna argued that it didn't just magically appear and brought up Poppy's past drug use. Since both Tom and Paul Hollis Hollister died of overdoses, Luna mentioned Katie's suspicions. Poppy said Katie was wrong and pushed Luna to believe she had nothing to do with those deaths. As for the backpack resurfacing, Poppy felt that they couldn't tell anyone else about this and informed Luna that they had to keep it their secret. Based on our predictions, Poppy and Luna are about to create even more complications with their decision to stay quiet. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Katie will seek updates on the whole truth and could land in danger as a result, so stay tuned for all the shocking news to come. 
The striking and the delightful spoilers say Katie will look for refreshes all in all reality and could land in peril accordingly. So remain tuned for all the stunning news to come. Uncover that Brooke Logan and Edge Forrester will keep advertising up the relaunch to the press, so there will be lots of buzz, particularly since the new Brooks Room video has dropped on the web. Edge and Brooke's affection will be spilling over as they stay a group on this, so they'll have more minutes where they do something enjoyable as well as profitable. Obviously, a secretive lady has been sneaking and keeping an eye on the happy couple, however B B hasn't uncovered her character presently. It'll be intriguing to see what this lady's thought process is and she'll do straight away. Meanwhile, Steffi Forrester and Trust Logan will confront more pressure back in Los Angeles. While Trust and Steffi anticipate refreshes on relaunch numbers, they'll quarrel over whether Brooke can pull off a success for Forrester manifestations, and you can wager there will be more expect the future clash too. Fortunately, the redid Brooke's room line will be an immense hit. The awful news is the relaunch will be well known to the point that the site can't deal with it. That will bring some disorder at the workplace, however, Zend Forrester Dominguez will probably assume a key part in ensuring things get fixed following the site crash. Business will be blasting thanks to Brooke's prominence with every one of her fans, so Steffi might have no real option except to pay proper respect. Steffi will be satisfied pretty much all the new Brooks room orders, yet she'll definitely continue urging trust about her own diminishing numbers and the expectation for the future reductions she's pushing for. Despite the fact that Poppy Nozawa and Luna Nozawa aren't highlighted in that frame of mind for Tuesday's episode, they could spring up to proceed with their discussion about Tom Starr's rucksack. Poppy just committed to Luna that she was blameless, so she'll trust Luna accepts she didn't have anything to do with Tom and Paul Hollis Hollister's horrid destinies. Poppy additionally demanded she had no clue about how the knapsack got inside the condo, yet she was determined that they needed to stay quiet about this. It seems to be Luna will eventually oblige Poppy's arrangement to leave the sack there for the destruction yet they'll have more opportunities to discuss this as the week goes on. Our expectations hint that Katie Logan might track down Tom's rucksack at the loft in the approaching episodes, so that will start more mischief for Poppy soon enough. The intense and the wonderful spoilers say the secret of who designated Tom and Hollis will a few different exciting bends in the road, so remain tuned. Ridge and Brooke's love will be overflowing as they remain a team on this, so they'll have more moments where they mix business with pleasure. Of course, a mysterious woman has been lurking and spying on the blissful couple, but B&B &B hasn't revealed her identity just yet. It'll be interesting to see what this woman's motives are and what she'll do next. In the meantime, Steffi Forrester and Hope Logan will face more tension back in Los Angeles. While Hope and Steffi await updates on relaunch numbers, they'll argue about whether Brooke can pull off a win for Forrester Creations, and you can bet there will be more hope for the future conflict as well. The good news is that the revamped Brooke's bedroom line will be a huge hit. The bad news is the relaunch will be so popular that the website can't handle it. That'll bring some chaos at the office but Zend Forrester Dominguez will likely play a key role in making sure things get straightened out following the website crash. Business will be booming thanks to Brooke's popularity with all her fans, so Steffi may have no choice but to give credit where credit is due. Steffi will be pleased about all the new Brooke's bedroom orders, but she'll inevitably keep goading hope about her own dwindling numbers and the hope for the future cutbacks she's pushing for. Although Poppy Nozawa and Luna Nozawa aren't featured in B&B &B spoilers for Tuesday's episode, they could pop up to continue their conversation about Tom Starr's backpack. Poppy just swore to Luna that she was innocent, so she'll hope Luna believes she had nothing to do with Tom and Paul, Hollis Hollister's grim fates. Poppy also insisted she had no idea how the backpack got inside the apartment but she was adamant that they had to keep all this under wraps. 
Our predictions hint that Katie Logan may find Tom's backpack at the apartment in the coming episodes, so that'll stir up more trouble for Poppy soon enough. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the bold and the beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.